even with a stronger than expected jobs report, which maybe cements the fact that March is not going to happen, as Fed Chair Jay Powell suggested during his news conference. So maybe we really do need to move on from that. For better clarity, let's ask former Fed Vice Chair Rich Clarida. He is PIMCO Global Economic Advisor, joins us now. Good to see you. Welcome back. Uh, glad to be on the show. You, you told our producer on this segment that today's jobs report would be, quote, unwelcome news for the Fed. W why wouldn't it be exactly the opposite? Well, you know, the Fed is trying to engineer that soft uh, landing, and I think in their mind, 350,000 jobs uh, looks, uh, looks a little uh, robust, in particular the tick up in, in average hourly uh, earnings. I also think, however, that uh, there are typically some seasonal factors in January. So I don't think this will carry a huge amount of weight, uh, but uh, they were certainly thinking of a, a little bit uh, softer landing than you would get from this report. But did, did you have the idea that, you know, what was once a we need to really hurt the job market from the Fed has clearly seemed to morph into a Look, we don't want to ruin a, a good thing, so it's a really delicate balance. It is, and you know, and I thought the chair was was very effective uh, the other day when he uh, indicated that uh, you know the Fed welcomes uh, a strong uh, labor market. You know, evidence that uh, that we're going to be able to achieve the disinflation uh, that 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 they want. So you know, the the Fed actually likes a, a strong labor market, but they also want inflation to return to two percent. Were you surprised by what he said about no March, that he was as explicit or answered that question he was asked as explicitly as he did? I was a bit surprised in the press conference because a straight reading of the FOMC statement at two conveyed to me that, that he and the committee wanted that optionality. Uh, I'll give Jay Powell credit. I, he, he did say, I think, first person, I think it's too soon. So maybe other the other 18 folks have a different uh, view. But, uh, but yeah, he certainly did convey his own uh, thinking there. And, and for what it's worth, I, I agree with that. I just don't think we'll have all that much more data between now and, and March. Uh, and so if it made sense not to move in January, I think probably in March as well. Do you think it opens the door in any way to dissent some more fractured Fed, if you will? The debate becomes more rigorous in the room? Room? That could well happen. I think I, it's been remarkable how, how unified the committee has been through what has been a challenging uh, period in terms of aggressive uh, rate uh, uh, hikes. Uh, but I haven't really picked up on that too much uh, in, the, in the speeches by the different uh, officials. So I think it's probably too soon to, to worry about that. What makes sense to you then in terms of what's your own gaming this out? When does the first cut happen? I think, especially after today, uh, June is looking like a pretty sensible uh, uh, meeting to pencil in. At, at the June meeting, there'll be a set of projections. They'll have a lot more data by then. Um, uh, I think the committee has decided that they're done. The chair more or less confirmed that and that they are discussing uh, cuts. And so if I don't think it's March, it would either be May or June, and I would lead into June. Mm. How many do you think we get in total this year? I'm still in the three camp. I know that makes me boring because that's what they wrote down in September. But but uh, I think three cuts uh, beginning in June uh, uh, would be my baseline right now. What do you think their take is on, on what the stock market is doing? This rally is nothing short of incredible. New highs, obviously, new record highs. And we're close. We're, we're not just not that far away from S&P 5000. Does that make them uh, un uneasy, nervous? What? It's a good question, Scott, because, you know, as recently as November, they were citing financial conditions uh, directly in the statement. You may have noticed they took out any reference to financial conditions uh, in, the, in the statement uh, two days uh, ago. Now, of course, they're looking at financial uh, uh, conditions, uh, but they are also looking at credit spreads and other indicators. And so I think they're thinking that it's consistent with a soft landing. The chair won't use that term uh, yet, uh, but uh, I think right now that is that's what they're that's how they're interpreting it. Do you have any worry whatsoever that they wait too long to cut? That they're looking at either backward-looking stuff or or they're just too afraid to come to a consensus to move, and it becomes too late and they do uh, undue harm to an economy that they never had to do that to in the first place. Uh, I've heard those arguments. Um, I, I respect that to some extent, but. I think given the data flow 
uh, that that we're seeing, um, I, that would that would not be a front and center worry uh, 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 for me. I mean, I think we'll have enough indication of the economy slowing, and and of course, you know, if the economy slows and inflation falls faster, as, as you'd expect, you know, they they can move more more rapidly. So no, I'm. I know I've heard that argument, but I'm not very uh, persuaded by it. But I, I could say, you know, I, I could look at offsetting things, if you will. I say, OK, well, today's jobs report is blowout. Why would they go in, in March? But then if you look at, you know, employment cost index, for example, or yeah. PCE, all of those are, are trending overwhelmingly in the place that makes the Fed most comfortable because they look at those metrics perhaps closer than, than anything else. So I could say, well, those would suggest why not March? And I think the answer, well, and I think the answer is is that although the progress on, on inflation in the last six months has been welcome uh, and, and uh, remarkable, uh, it's been driven largely by goods uh, inflation. Uh, services inflation is still running a little bit hotter than would be consistent with the target. No, but again, I think they are going to cut. They think they're going to cut. Um, and uh, they'll certainly, uh, given the data they're looking at, you know, May will be a live uh, a meeting. Uh, I think that's, that would be the mm -hmm. way I'd sum it up.